progressive Democrats of America that makes it unique is that uh, it has an understanding of the need to be engaged in moral politics, not just politics, right? An understanding of the need to be involved in a moral politics that takes as its baseline economic and social and racial justice, saving the environment from climate crisis and finding a way to solve the problems of the world through diplomacy and negotiation rather than war and a huge military industrial There are not enough groups that get that full moral equation, but that's not what makes PDA special. And I know the people who founded PDA, sadly, a number of them are gone now, but uh, I, I knew them when they were serving. What made it special was they had that moral core and they also understood that they were competing for power, that they wanted to win elections, that they wanted to be right on the issues, but also in a place to implement what they were seeking to do. That's a big deal in politics. You don't know how many groups don't get that. There are a lot of groups, a lot of organizations, a lot of individuals and political folks who are great. They're absolutely pure. They get nothing wrong ever, right? And they will tell you that. But they don't recognize the competition for power, right? And so they, they you know, get so far out there that they turn people off, right? That they, they just don't really do politics right. And then there's a lot of people who are all about getting power, right? Nothing but it, and they're willing to compromise every value everything because they just want to get that, they want to win that election. The genius of PDA, going back to its founding, was that it actually believed you could do both. You could be right on the issues and you could win elections. And we've got proof of it here with us. We've got people who have won elections and we've got people who are going to try to continue to do so. That's a huge deal in politics. And that's why tonight, even though I have been on a pretty hectic schedule the last few days. Uh, I am very honored to be here with you folks and to talk to you a little bit about politics, a little bit about where we're at right now.